Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna find out how the keto diet saves someone's life. And we will have this heartwarming story right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, You'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So we just got back from Keto Summit Omaha, and oh my gosh, we met the most incredible baker. Yes, Michelle Kaiser from the Omaha Bakery. Yeah, I'm actually wearing their shirt. It says, Keto, how sweet it is, the Omaha Bakery. And it was incredible. The desserts were delicious. I mean, amazing. You really didn't think they were keto desserts. We even brought some home. Some of them are frozen, because I'm even afraid to thaw them out enough for this video. This is their cornbread, which I cannot wait for February 1st to be eating this with some of our chili. Oh my gosh, incredible. But more important and significant than the baked goods she was making was the story that she had to share. Yeah, because Michelle, we didn't even recognize her. No. But she has been featured in numerous magazines. So many I couldn't even remember. I had to pull it up on the website. She's been featured in the New York Times, USA Today, Omaha World Herald, the Omaha Town Square, Des Moines Register, The Wedding Essentials, the Vermont Tribu uh, Tribune, and then even the Wedding Day Magazine. She's also won awards from the Omaha Choice Awards, and she was a finalist when she was featured on the Food Network. And that's actually where I recognized her before picture because she had her before picture there at the conference. And Anthony and I had actually seen the episode where she was in the spring baking contest. Yeah, so we got to talking to her and she had the most amazing story. But I'm going to warn you right now, before you move on, hit the pause button and go get your tissues. They're gonna be happy tears. Yes. But you're gonna need some tissues for this. So I am here with Michelle Kaiser from the Omaha Bakery. I actually recognized her instantly from the Food Network. Because I had seen her on food on a cooking show, because me and Anthony, my son, is we're obsessed with like the cooking shows. And I was like, oh my gosh, I know this lady. And Joe's like, um, she's here with baked goods, but they're keto. And then he hands me this deliciousness. And I almost fell over. And I'm like, she's lying. This is not keto. But it is keto, and it's three carbs per brownie. And it may be the th most amazing three carbs I've put in my mouth <laughs> in a very long time. Like, it was delicious. So if you think this is good, what's even better is in this little box right here. These are a tag-along bar, which is just like a tag-along Girl Scout cookie. Oh my lord. These are the oatmeal caramelita. We make our own caramel for these. And then this is a regular brownie. And this right here is an ooey gooey bar. Open it up. It's on me. I want you to try it right oh now. Oh my gosh. I think it's my birthday. Yeah. So tag alongs are the Girl Scout cookies that I always would get. So right. I have to They're try the tag They're better along. than the tag alongs though. You don't have to just I'm dig on pick it. it up. It's my favorite bar of all of the bars. Like, if, if I can go a day not eating one, it's golden because I'm addicted to this. Don't eat that whole bar. Holy macaroni. Now try this one. She said there's... Oh my If you think this is... Like, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to start with the best and you're going to cross. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Right? What so you know the zebra was good and like we have people that will come in and buy our dessert, get in their car, take a bite and call us and say that's not keto. And we're like, 
Yeah, it is. So what we do? Why are you sweetening this? Is it allulose? So we have we make our own blends. We use uh, Swerve. We, the caramel is made with allulose. We use um, stevia. Um, so we use different things and we make our own blends. There's and no cooling effect. None. There's none of that like discomfort from some of the sweeteners. Not at all. And so we had to make a label. So we did keto, how sweet it is. And started putting it on all of our pre-packed stuff because people wouldn't believe There's us. There's no way. There was, was no way keto. you would believe this. So, funny story is... How when, did you get started with this? Well, I was on the Food Network and I was blessed to be given coriander to put in a cake that was an ombre cake that didn't work. And when I watched myself on that show, I saw myself so, like, obese so overweight but what I really saw was all the pain that I was encountering my pain level was a 9 or a 10 every day and after I watched it I said you know I just can't live this way no longer I was having four to five seizures a week from Lyrica which is actually supposed to be an anti-seizure medication and they had given it to me for fibromyalgia and here I am having seizures. So they take me off of it, and now nothing's working. And wow. so I went to my autoimmune specialist, and I said, can you help me? And she said, I can give you gabapentin. I said, that doesn't work. No. And I said, I don't think I'm going to live much longer because I can't live in this much pain. My quality of life is gone. Was it in your joints, in your feet? Yeah. So I had feet problems. I was numb from the left side down. So if you put a rubber band around my arm, around your arm, it would first tingle. Yeah. Then it would go numb. Then it would become extremely painful. Yeah. So I had that going on. I had edema in my legs. I had fatty liver disease. I had restless leg syndrome. I had spasms in my back at night. So I didn't sleep. I became, I was depressed. Oh, of course. I get up in the morning. I couldn't get dressed without the help of my 11 year old daughter. I'd have to sit for 30 to 45 minutes just to get dressed. And I couldn't step up a curb. And you're thinking, what's going to happen when I'm older? Right. Like, what does the future look like? Like, I was just turning 50 that year. And I'm like... There's no way you're 50 years old. I'm actually 53. Just turned 53 last month. She's lying. I reversed my age by doing keto. I've lost 110 pounds. So, autoimmune specialist says... I can't help you, but I can give you antidepressants and pain meds. And I'm like, that's not the answer. We've been doing this for 10 years. I refuse to live this way anymore. Yeah. Walked away and decided December 31st of 2018, I would end my life because I refuse to live this way any longer. Oh my goodness. So I made an appointment with my neurologist, said, take another MRI. This numbness, something's going down. I said, okay, I'll do this it. He did about. another MRI, because every year I'd go back, and he said, you have inflammation. There's nothing I can do. He said, I said, well, then give me a handicap sticker and a cane, because I can't walk. He said, no, because you don't come to me often enough, and people abuse it. So I again walked away. I'm defeated. I'm like, Okay, so December 31st, I have a bakery. I would bake everybody's treats through the holidays, and then I would end my life. Wow. A friend who sat down, and I was just like, I'm not going to make it. I, I, I can't take this no more. Like, I would take a shower, and I couldn't remember whether or not I put shampoo on my yep. hair. I couldn't remember whether or not I put baking powder or baking soda in a recipe. So all of these things, like I, my quality was gone. My husband and my daughter were taking care of me and I couldn't be a mom. I couldn't go to the ball games, the programs, no. nothing. So she said, try keto. I said, I've got one thing left to do and I'm gonna try it. She said, it's 20 carbs a day. I said, I'll do 15. Wow. I know she said, no sugar, no flour, but I own a bakery. Yeah. So somewhere in my brain, I didn't catch that piece, but I figured it out. It was no flour, no sugar. 
and I dove in. I'd never read a label in my life. And I became so educated on this that I started realizing that just in normal ingredients like heavy cream has keratogen, yeah. it's a thickening agent, mm -hmm. and that'll cause people to stall. So I decided if I'm going to do this, I want to create a product that's so clean that you can do a glucose check or wear one of those monitors and we're not going to change your Oh sugar. my goodness. So that's what I've done. I've lost 110 pounds. After three months I was pain free. Just this past summer I went to Alaska to Denali and I went zip lining on six different zip lines wow. on top of this mountain. Your whole life is changed is changed but thank you for not keeping it to yourself because there's a lot of us out there we cannot make these products for ourselves and they're um, this is amazing thank you but right now do you have to live in Omaha to get this deliciousness no we ship but the best way to get our product is to follow our bakery on Facebook at the Omaha bakery dot, uh, on Facebook the Omaha bakery and we post when we're gonna ship. So this coming Tuesday, we're gonna ship. So all orders that come in through end of the day tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, Wow! all orders that come in will get baked fresh on Monday, shipped on Tuesday. Now, and how often do you ship? Right now, this is our first shipment in one month because we, we ship right before, like two weeks before Christmas and then we don't ship again until now, but then we're on every other week rotation, but we're working to be in every week and getting it on our website to so go in and order. The demand is going to explode because not only is this the best thing that you would put in your mouth, the donuts, and then look at this though. Look at this beautiful keto bread. And what are we looking at on the carbs for this? 0.81, less than a carb per slice. It's made with vital wheat gluten, which is the protein strain of the gluten. If a person's celiac, they cannot have it. But if you're keto, you can. It has oat fiber, which is the husk of oats, and it also has um, uh, vitamin D, oat fiber, um, flax meal, mm -hmm. like it has all these healthy things in it. Incredible, and look at this. I mean, this is this is bread. This is not cloud bread. This no, is bread bread. I hate the eggy taste of cloud, like that's why this can't be eggy. And then we did the pizza crust with this for Cops Pizza, and they're doing pizza with the crust, and you can pick up the pizza and eat it. And let me tell you, it was amazing seeing this convention, and you're seeing all these people walking around with pizza boxes, and my first response is like, oh my goodness, this train has derailed, and a pizza place has, has descended on the keto convention, but no. And everybody is loving the pizza too. Tastes yeah. incredible. Yeah, and a slice, the the for a full size slice, the most the highest carb is like a 2.2 .2 per slice. So you eat four, if you eat two slices on the one that would be the highest, which is the burnt ends with the um, keto. We use um, we recommended the G Hughes barbecue sauce. Burnt ends. With barbecue sauce. Huh. That's the highest one, I believe, and that's, I think, for two slices, 4.4 carbs. Wow. For two slices. Amazing. Yeah. So we're we're blowing it up, and we're here to make a difference and touch others' lives with this. So now, when you think about your future and your plans, it's not bleak anymore. What are you, what is your immediate plans and, and future plans? What for so, yourself? Ex well, more travel. Ex well, always because I work to travel, right? I just got back from South Padre not even a week ago. Wow. So, but for business, what I really want to do is I want to expand the shipping. I want to. We're already wholesaling the dry mix of the Wanda. 
for the pizza crust okay. for Cops Pizza. So we want to get a manufacturer distribution facility so that we can get brokers and we can get this all over the United States wow. in other pizza companies. Yes. So anybody can have low carb, great, amazing pizza. Now right? I am not biased, but I would like to ask that we make South Florida the very next stop after Omaha. Well, I love Miami. And I and I absolutely love Destin Beach. My plan someday is to retire to Florida Yay! and open a place in Florida someday. Okay, well, my partners. I was gonna say my Well, I need some business partners here. My my life just so, got better. Just thinking of that. Well, every state has somebody who is begging us to go there because what we're doing, nobody else is doing. No. And what would you say to that person that's out there right now at that December 31st moment? What I can say is if I can do this, anybody can do it. I own a bakery. I've been baking professionally 30 years three years professionally. I grew up in a kitchen baking with my grandma. And if I can do it, I can give up flour and sugar, and I can give up, my, my career was focused around flour and sugar and all those bad addiction type foods. If I can give it up and I can turn my life around and get my health back, there isn't anybody that can't do it. First week on keto, I was cutting up Snickers candy bars to top on another cheesecake that wasn't keto. I was rolling peanut butter cinnamon rolls and regular cinnamon rolls. I was frosting cakes. And something said, don't eat it, don't eat it. I think God just said, Michelle, yeah. you got to stick. I, like, I don't you know. You made the decision for yourself and divine you're all in. intervention. And so now, I have a purpose, I inspire others, I get to help people, and just know that if I can do it, anybody can do this. Thank you, Michelle. Absolutely. I'm so glad that Michelle was willing to share her story. Yeah. Because just like your story will impact somebody, I think that Michelle's story can really speak to somebody. Maybe you know somebody that's having a December 31st moment mm -hmm. and you can share this video with them because we want to encourage people that your story doesn't have to end December 31st. There is a January 1st. There is hope for a new day. And we want to spread that word. We want to share Michelle's story. Yeah. And she is such an amazing woman. She is such an inspiration. And the fact that she was able to take that December 31st moment and turn it into a bakery that is making some of the most delicious food that I have tasted on the keto diet. I mean, now that she even had a pizzeria come from her, come over to her and say, hey, let's do something. And I have to tell you, that pizza Crazy was good. good. And they're gonna be selling the pizza across. But I was really happy when she said they're going to be shipping out the products. I mean, obviously, like she said, they're not gonna ship them every single day. You're gonna have to do it like on a once bi-weekly or once a month basis, but you're going to wanna follow them on Facebook and try some of them because you, I'm telling you, you cannot tell that these are keto desserts. They are that good. They're really, really good. And I just love this, you know, new product being started out of her into hope. You yeah. know, I just, I love that she's cooking up something great and she's really, you know, cooking up some hope yeah. for people. So we're gonna leave a link for the bakery as well as their Facebook down below so you can go follow them and you can find out, you know, when they're doing their next shipment. Cause I know I'm subscribing to it because I wanna get especially those little turtle things. Oh my gosh. Well, it's like, what, tag along. Yes, it's so good. So. so good. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.